Hello buddies, welcome to Necromunda Under Hive Wars. This is game night and I present to you my heavy build. When you start out your heavy, you will need to pick the traits. I picked toughness, intelligence and ranged aptitude. Stats wise, you'll need ranged aptitude, toughness, intelligence, willpower and alertness at 12. Once you have the required stats, you should focus on getting ranged aptitude up with your max stat upgrades as well as intelligence once you max that out. The rest of it can go into accuracy for instance or maybe agility. Shredding Frenzy is the bread and butter of this build. Shooting three times and shredding armor pieces is very much needed if you're gonna play on higher difficulties, especially later on when the enemies start having more and more armor pieces. Now you can use this with any gun, but I use it with my heavy plasma because I think it gives really good results. I'll cover the heavy plasma in another video because it is quite the topic that some people hate it and other people like myself love it to bits. The heavy footed passive will decrease the cost of shooting after using Shredding Frenzy. You can get an extra shot off. Then we have Preparation which gives you higher initiative and stress resistant. You have the weapon barrier, which gives you 30 initiative as well, and 15 melee evasion and ranged evasion. Then you have the tune-up, which gives you higher hit precision and extra damage to destructible elements. You have the rear guard, which reduces your hit points by 50, but it gives you 15 maximum action points. Then we have the aura garrison, which doesn't affect him, but it affects everyone around. So entrenched gets a lower cost and they recover 15 extra AP per round. Also gives you 15 maximum AP. I grab formation for him as well because the damage absorption when he has an aura. So when someone is activated the aura around, he will absorb more damage. Then we have readiness, gives even more ranged precision. And killing spree, once he takes one out, he gets a uh, bonus to his ranged critical hit chance. But what do you do in the start of the battle, you can actually get preparation, tune up, aura garrison and readiness off in one go. That way you're set up for the end of battle, unless you get stunned, of course. But all of these last until the end of battle. And from then on, you just go one shot with your normal uh, shot for, I think it's 17. And then you can do the Shredding Frenzy afterwards. This makes for a really strong, heavy build. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to leave a like and subscribe for more in the future. Have a wonderful game night.